Here is a hike I took a couple days ago. It was um, basically out of my backyard again. Went down Powerline Road here, and then cut up at the first road up here, and went up to the fence line here, and then cut across Peralta Road and went up here. A couple things, I wanted to look at Sleepy Hollow again and see the emergency access road, but it was a good hike, enjoyable, got some nice pictures of some flowers, and uh, really nice. So, uh, let's fly it, see what you think. Okay, starting from my backyard here, and uh, basically going down the, um, I wonder what the yellow line is, I don't know what that one is, but going down the uh, road here, what is that yellow one? I don't know what that is. Looks like it's going the same way. Doesn't. Maybe that's an old one I went on previously. I don't know. But anyway, I went up the road here. And uh, let's speed it up some. Then went up to the fence line here. I wonder what that yellow one is. Then cut across here and went along the fence line. I wonder if that yellow one is still around. I don't know what that yellow one is. It didn't come back that way, so it's not coming back. Then I cut across here and then got on to uh, Peralta Road and crossed Peralta Road. Now I did do some bushwhacking up here a little ways. Let me show you where. When I cut across here, there was some, um, right here is still a trail, I think. Uh, right there is the VR picture one that I took. Um, it's nice, a lot of cactus and stuff. But as I got up here, right, right from about here over, I, uh, there was a lot of bushwhacking. It wasn't very bad because it was uh, kind of high land, and, uh, but it definitely wasn't on the trail. As you'll see here in a minute. Some of them were cow trails. Uh, but right here I think is where I diverted. <laughs> um, it was not, it wasn't bad. There wasn't a lot of bushwhacking in that sense. That Then I cut up here and went up here to, uh, this is a, a road down to Sleepy Hollow. What's the name of this road? This is... Uh, lazy lane so you can go up to here and then cut across the the fence is not down here but it's sufficient you can get across easily so that's what I did um, and I came down here I wonder what that yellow line is I still don't know what that is maybe that's a previous hike I did or a bike ride and then cut up here and cut across to where the emergency exit is for the Peralta trails and then come across here. Now all this is is really uh, all the all flattened and developed but there's no houses yet right here but then there are houses over here so and basically then I went down to the Paraline trail the other direction and uh, came down and uh, jumped the fence there and stopped here and that's where I stopped. So that's where I started here and that's where I stopped. Uh, it was a good hike about uh, what five and a half miles. Uh, beautiful pictures, not much elevation, let's say 291 feet up and 294 down. Um, and um, you know, it took about two hours and 34 minutes at about 2.2. I think it was a little faster than that, but not much faster. Nice hike. I hope you enjoy the pictures, and uh, I'll post them on Facebook as well.